Hi everyone, welcome to this session of Primavera training. In uh, this video, I will uh, explain how to adjust uh, activity relationships and uh, create uh, events and milestones and also schedule your project. Back to our uh, Primavera uh, file. As you can see, I have uh, some relationships uh, defined uh, between activities, but the problem with this project is that uh, it lacks a starting and finishing point. So I can uh, go ahead in uh, the activities tab and uh, select uh, my uh, project add uh, a new activity and I can name this one uh, start or uh, project start this activity is now in here by default the uh, duration is uh, five days I want this to be an event so the duration should be zero and as you can see in the Gantt chart view now I have uh, this uh, event also at the very end uh, when you have completed all the activities you can add uh, a finishing uh, event or milestone and we can uh, name it finish again the duration for this one should be zero so it is an event or milestone so these should be also connected to um, activities so I can go to network uh, view and as you can see if I click on any level of uh, milestone uh, any level of uh, work breakdown structure only activities in that uh, level of uh, WBS is shown so my project now contains these start is the first activity and it is not connected I can uh, hover my mouse uh, over this uh, start event and link it to the next activity the same thing uh, for finish uh, and it should be connected to uh, other uh, activities that I have so these activities are not connected yet I can hover my mouse and easily create the relationships between them if uh, you made a mistake in here you can easily click on the relationship and press delete and you can remove the relationship it is very important to have a very closed network so all activities are connected in here we are uh, having this, uh, these activities which are not connected and I will try to do that one so after finishing uh, creating relationships uh, between your activities you can uh, run the scheduling for your project by pressing F9 or this button in the menu bar when you do so this dialog box opens there is an important option in here if you check this box uh, there will be a file created uh, reporting on important uh, features of your project you can also uh, define uh, a location for uh, saving your uh, file now it is uh, time to run uh, the scheduling and uh, as you can see it is done if you go to Gantt chart view uh, those red bars show a critical path for your network as you can see all activities are not connected in my project so if I uh, view log there should be some warnings about this there you go uh, 
uh, as you can see activities without predecessors and these are framing compacting and start and activities without successors are these three it is very important to resolve these issues to have a closed uh, network of activities and your uh, planning is accurate in this case thank you very much for watching this uh, video uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel for updated videos on engineering and project management. Thank you.